Late at night, when the world was quiet, the Pope began experiencing something extraordinary. He was awakened each night by a soft glow, filling his room with a warm, gentle light. As he opened his eyes, he saw the Blessed Virgin Mary, known as Our Lady, standing before him. She was bathed in a radiant light, her presence peaceful yet powerful. The air around her shimmered with a divine glow, and her eyes, filled with both love and concern, seemed to speak directly to his soul. Still groggy, the Pope felt a deep calmness wash over him, knowing this was no ordinary moment. With a heart full of reverence, he got out of bed and knelt before her, his thoughts racing with awe. Our Lady's face, while gentle, bore a serious expression, revealing the urgency of her visit. She spoke softly, but her words were filled with significance. My beloved son, she began, her voice steady yet filled with concern. I come to you with an important message, a warning for all the faithful. There is a threat that will test the hearts and souls of many Catholics. As she spoke, vivid images began to form in the Pope's mind. He saw scenes of confusion and turmoil within the Church, with believers struggling to keep their faith strong amidst growing challenges. Pressures from both the outside world and within the Church seemed to push against the core beliefs that Catholics hold dear. He saw symbols representing these beliefs being questioned and tested, while the faithful clung desperately to their devotion. Each word from Our Lady carried a weight of urgency, making it clear that the Pope needed to act. She wasn't just warning him about the dangers ahead, she was also offering hope and encouragement. She urged him to pay close attention, to share this message, and to prepare the faithful for what was to come. The Pope knew he had been chosen to deliver this crucial message. He began speaking with the cardinals and other church leaders, sharing the visions Our Lady had shown him. He urged them to prepare, to take action to protect the faithful, and to remain united in their faith. His words carried a divine warning, emphasizing the need for vigilance, unity, and a steadfast belief in God's protection. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Now, this message is being shared with all of you. My beloved children, because your faith will be tested, I, your mother, urge you to pray with hope, faith, and the assurance that you are under God's protection. Remember, an early warning of the coming trials will be given to you in the form of an unexpected synod. In a bustling city known for its advanced scientific research, a secret lab will be hidden at its heart, conducting some of the most critical biological experiments in the world. This lab, known only to a select few, will be responsible for groundbreaking discoveries in medicine and virology. The Pope, deeply moved by these encounters, knew that the time to act was now. He urged everyone to prepare their hearts, to pray earnestly, and to stay united in faith. He shared this message with the world, hoping it would reach the ears and hearts of all Catholics, calling them to stay strong in their faith during the difficult times ahead. In a city known for its groundbreaking scientific research, deep within the heart of a state-of-the-art laboratory, scientists work tirelessly to find cures for the world's deadliest diseases. These researchers were on the front lines of medical advancement, delving into areas most wouldn't dare to explore. Their work was both thrilling and perilous, involving the handling of highly contagious and dangerous germs that, if mishandled, could lead to catastrophe. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the lab fell into an unusual silence, most of the researchers had already left, leaving the halls eerily empty. Only a handful of dedicated scientists remained, including one of the leading virologists. This virologist, driven by a passion for discovery and a sense of responsibility to humanity, decided to stay late to finish some critical tests on a new, experimental virus. This virus was unlike anything they had encountered before deadly, yes, but also holds the potential to unlock new doors in medical science. If they could understand and control it, the implications for treating diseases could be monumental. As the virologists worked into the night, 
meticulously recording data and analyzing results, the stillness of the lab was shattered by a sudden, jarring power surge. The lights flickered ominously, and for a brief, terrifying moment, the state-of-the-art security systems failed. The lab was equipped with high-tech containment systems designed to handle such emergencies, and these systems immediately kicked into action. Alarms blared, and the lab was bathed in a harsh red glow, signaling lockdown procedures. But what no one realized was that during a recent upgrade, a small crack had formed in one of the containment units a crack so tiny that it had gone unnoticed in the checks that followed. And now, in the chaos caused by the power surge, that crack allowed the virus to escape, slipping through the lab's ventilation system like a ghost. It was airborne, invisible, and on the move. The virologist, sensing something was wrong, glanced at the monitors and saw readings that made their blood run cold. The numbers didn't make sense something was happening that shouldn't be. With a growing sense of dread, they quickly donned protective gear and rushed to seal off the area, desperately trying to contain what they feared was already spreading. But it was too late. The virus, now free from its prison, had already breached the initial containment zone. Panic set in as the virologist activated the emergency protocols. They knew the gravity of the situation. They had seen firsthand the devastating potential of this virus. The alarms blared louder, echoing through the empty corridors of the lab, and warnings flashed on screens throughout the facility. The authorities were alerted, and colleagues were called back in, but the virologist could only stand there, helpless, as the virus continued to spread. The nightmare scenario that every scientist fears was unfolding before their eyes. As the days passed, the story of the virus that escaped from the lab spread far beyond the city, becoming a stark reminder of the razor-thin line between progress and disaster. It was a chilling lesson in the dangers inherent in scientific research and the need for unyielding safety measures. The world watched in horror as efforts to contain the outbreak were met with setbacks and challenges, the virus moving faster than anyone had anticipated. The virologist who had once been filled with hope and determination, now carried the heavy burden of knowing that a single mistake had unleashed something beyond their control. Yet, amid the fear and chaos, their resolve did not waver. They continued to work tirelessly, even as the world outside grew more uncertain, driven by a belief that a solution could still be found. Their legacy, forged in the crucible of this crisis, became a symbol of hope and resilience. Despite the unprecedented challenges, they remained steadfast, embodying the spirit of humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of unimaginable danger. The story of the escaped virus was not just a tale of scientific error. It was a powerful reminder of the delicate balance that must be maintained between progress and caution. It underscored the enormous impact that one mistake can have, not just on a laboratory or a city, but on all of humanity. And as the world continued to grapple with the consequences of that fateful night, the virologist's story became a beacon of perseverance, a testament to the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. In the end, the crisis served as a call to action, a plea for greater vigilance, and a deeper understanding of the responsibilities that come with the pursuit of knowledge. The virologist's journey, marked by both failure and determination, became a story of redemption and a reminder that even in our darkest hours, there is always hope if we continue to strive for the light. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.